Now, we've been moving down the list of SMGs, so today, we're we'll beginning the Owen Gun Gold. Now, my intros have been kind of long recently, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to fly through this one. So, really quick, here's my camo progress with the Owen Gun. Uh, I have everything done except long shots. I figured I'd save long shots for the video to show you guys how I'm getting these done. We have everything done here. Death Artist, I just completed before this. The point blanks were a little tough now that everybody's using shotguns, but I just hopped in the trifecta playlist, got that done. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. A lot of it is just, like, use these attachments and do whatever but i i would kind of hold off on doing smgs right now while shotguns are going crazy anyways here is the attachments i'm going with i just put on the 2.5 times optic since we are going for long shots here but this barrel right here helps with long shots you get less damage fall off more bullet velocity increased limb damage this stock i'm pretty sure this is the one from one of the camo challenges but i'm keeping it on because it helps with aim stability recoil control and accuracy which is all very good for long shots especially with the smg another very important attachment here is the Lengthened. It adds plus three to your bullet velocity, which helps so much with long shots. And is there anything in here that might help with accuracy? I don't think so. Well, I guess the first one does. I've been using the first grip on everything. I don't know what's good. So if you guys have good attachments, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Also running fully loaded in brace because this is initial accuracy and recoil and fully loaded. So I don't have to you'd be running around looking for ammo. Also have another launcher here. I did end up getting my bazooka gold. I'm going to make a video on that soon, but we actually are pretty far on this one as well. It's just a three in a game that's killing me on these. For my perks, I'm gonna be running Ghost Engineer in case anything pops up score streak wise, so I can take it out and double time. I have Thermite and Smoke Grenade. Uh, I was using Smoke Grenade for the point blanks, but I could probably change it to something else. Doesn't really matter right now. Thermite, I think, is probably one of the best nades in this game. I've been using this and the Molotov. And of course, I have the munitions box. But, anyways, that is enough talk. How we're gonna be getting these long shots here with the SMG is I always hop into hardcore. I have Domination Patrol and a hard point queued. So let's go ahead, hop in, and get these done. All right, here we go. We're, we got a game here on what is this map called bukaki blockage but we actually got a good spawn for long shots i like to come over here and mount up if someone peeks over this left side anywhere down there is a long shot i'm pretty sure right here might be a long shot but it seems like long shots are a little longer in this game like uh their distance is way harder to get but we got one right there we just need nine more Oh, that's another one. Okay, so that does count. Perfect. As long as we stay here and the spawn doesn't flip, we could get these done pretty quick, actually. Let's see if they're smart enough to uh, come back. Or I guess not come back would be smarter, at, at least for them. Is that it? We only get a quick two. That's all they're giving us. There we go. Oh, the second I say something. Okay, we still have the spawn though. As long as like we let them get a few, they'll keep coming back. That's usually how I do it in like every game. I mean, I don't mean to die, but if you die, it's not that big of a deal. It just gives them incentive to come back here. Because if you're constantly stomping on them, there's no way they're just going to keep coming back. I mean, some people do, but if it was me and I kept getting stomped on at the same angle, I'm switching where I'm peeking. That was not a long shot. Ooh, okay. I just got bopped twice. So let's move on over here to the right side and instantly get killed and spawn us on left now you still got guys peeking over here oh it's a riot shield and he's gone i see somebody come on go back to peeking that no oh i'm getting out aim now it seems like the smg like damage fall off range is so bad in this game that you really need to use every attachment that you can to get those long shots there's another one and you need to get like first shot and just keep laying down the fire because it's tough out here getting long shots. And on top of that, getting all those point blanks, it's like you can only do one or the other. There's so many point blanks to get in this. We did that last video, so I figured we'd show off a different challenge. Oh, they got a spy plane up. Oh, they got two up. Hold on. Let's see if we can hit it. No way that missed. That one's going to miss too. They got three up. Now's my time. I think they, they literally all left in the time it took me to put it down. Oh, wait, there's still one. Let me hit it though. No, it's not looking like it. Oh, well. Screw this. We need long shots. What? All right. Enough playing around over here. Let me get some kills. Oh, come on. There we go. We just need a few more. Long shots are actually so, so easy in hardcore. I'm mainly a hardcore player, but the time to kill in this game is so fast that it's much better to play core for everything but long shots and actually for the, the riot shield. I feel like everything I was going to core for in previous games, I'm I'm now going to hardcore for. I feel like this game is going to make me into more of a core player. So I'm always, always on hardcore because it seems like the kills are way faster. You can get challenges way easier. I don't know. Uh, the the core in this game just plays so much faster. It feels like there's no need for hardcore besides for these long shots. Okay, let's see. Come here. Please keep peeking. Okay, he's dead. Anybody down here want to die? This guy. If I can hit him. Come on, please re-peek. 
Oh my. There's like a whole shotgun apocalypse happening right now. I feel like it's not as bad in hardcore, even though I just got killed by one. But playing on DOS house right now, it, it's nothing but shotguns, combat shotguns going off. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to act like I'm not guilty in this whole situation. I've been using the combat shotgun a little bit as well. It's like, you know, why not? Why not try to get at least a few camos for it before it gets nerfed? Because it feels like that's just an inevitability with like 90% of the player base using it right now. So if you want your shotguns done, I would try to work on them as soon as possible. Because it's only going to get tougher. I'm on the, if you can't beat them, join them wagon. I'd be getting a lot more of those shotguns done if I could just get a few more long shots. There we go. This seems like a good spot for them. So I can shift back and forth from mid here all the way to the left side. If people would be so kind as to peek. Long shots are, are all about drive. They're all about power, but they're also all about patience. Because it could take a while for somebody to get to the angle you're working with. Okay, somebody's coming over here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, I just literally shot at a lantern. There we go. That's another one. Let's throw this down. There you go, pal. Enjoy that. Yep, that's for you. Watch the thermite. Don't look at that thermite. All right, nothing's happening left side. I'm going to see if I can get something going on right side because it seems like this guy's getting some kills. Some shots just came from over there, but I don't know exactly where from. Oh, and I'm gone. I got stunned to death. One stun killed me. That's insane. I think they might be peeking over here now, though. Yep, I see him. Okay, there's one. Jeez, that's gruesome as hell. Go and peek it. There we go. We got to be like less than five away. Unless that's it right there. Oh, let's go. Challenge completed. Complete all weapon camo challenges for this weapon. Ver Verdeer and gold. So we are all done here with our Owens gun. That was pretty easy, actually. We're probably about half. No, actually, the game's about to end. So we got at least 10 here. What's up, dude? So if you can get that done in a game, 10 a game, that's not bad. And on top of that, you probably be racking up other challenges while getting these long shots. Hardcore is so perfect for long shots. This is the mode to be playing if you still have camos to get for that. Let's see if I can get a little spree here and then we can back out. Okay, that's fine with me. We got our gold. We can leave. All right, let's take a look at what the Owen gun looks like with gold on it. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. I do have stickers on this still, so I apologize, but I don't think it takes away from it too much. The coverage on in this game is amazing. Like I, the secondary color they picked, even though it was just like that, that uh, laminate black, it still looks super clean with this gun. It looks, it looks super clean on every gun, but the gold in this game is just, it's perfect. I like it a lot. Let's see what it looks like with diamond. Eh, not the biggest fan of diamond. I feel like this texture needs a little reworked, but if this was like cold diamond this would be busting right now but i don't know there's something about this diamond that just don't work for me besides like the big nipply textures on it but this is th we gotta keep our eyes on this prize here atomic is so beautiful i've been seeing people call this the fruit roll-up camo i mean it kind of has like that similar color to it but i love this camo so much it's literally just damascus 2.0 like it, they somehow made damascus and they made it better like this is so perfect. I can't wait to unlock this. Let's go see what it looks like in game with gold. All right, this is what the Owen gun looks like with gold on it in game. This thing is beautiful. The entire gun is gold. You can see that nice texture on it. The camos in this game have really outdone themselves. So, I mean, speak for yourself about zombies camos. I think Old Viper looks amazing. Dark Aether. I could get some getting used to, but if you're a multiplayer, this gold is great and Atomic is amazing. Like the, the coverage on the camos, the way it's textured and everything, it just looks amazing. I, I'm I'm really happy with the grind in this game besides the weapon levels. Those are, those are a chore to do. But there you have it. We got another SMG done here in Vanguard. That's another step closer towards diamond SMGs. But let me know how you're liking the style of these videos. Uh, you know, I've gone back to my previous Cold War uh, weapon grinding videos where I show you guys the last challenges that i'm working on instead of uh the later cold war ones where i'd play my first game with them you know give my initial reactions a little montage of me unlocking camos like nice clips and then my final thoughts on the weapon so so uh give me some feedback on what you want to see in these videos i know some people like seeing the challenges some people like seeing the montage whichever one works for you guys but with that i think i'm gonna be ending the video here so if you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.